Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we have another video, kind of a quick one, so let's just get into it, make sure to subscribe, and thank you all the members and Patreons. I already did cover a little bit of these yesterday, but I really wanted to talk a little bit about it, because a lot of people just don't know uh, what vehicles can actually get the R73. If you don't know, the R73 was confirmed with the SU-25BM, and we are here in the hangar to show some of the aircraft that will probably receive um, the R-73 in general. Uh, just kind of a disclaimer, it was confirmed that only the SU-25BM will receive it right now, okay? And we might see it more of these um, aircraft receiving this missile in the future when it's needed. It's a whole different picture of adding an R-73 to an SU-25 than to a MiG-29, so it's very different, okay? But we're going to talk about all the models that could receive that missile. It's an amazing missile, as you know, and it will probably be the best missile for now, at least um, in the game, IR, you know, short range. Uh, so it's kind of a big deal, in my opinion, at least. So let's start with uh, the division. We are going to divide these aircraft in four categories. Basically, the first one will be uh, that will receive in the future, very likely to be soon, then it will receive at some point, the third one, a stretch, uh, that in theory could receive it, and then probably never going to be added unless they add another variant or really bend the, the history of the world, basically, right? So, first things first, aircraft that will most likely be receiving these missiles very, very soon, uh, maybe in the upcoming patch. Of course, I have to talk about the SU-25. The SU-25T and the SU-39, the original ones, never got the R-73, okay? So you will only see it in these two variants. Uh, these two aircraft can actually only take the R-73 in this pylon over here, so it cannot take it on the outer pylon of the R-60. That's due to a weight limit of the aircraft. So just like I think the BM will be like, uh, you can only take two R60Ms together with two R73s. So it should not be too OP. And to be honest, I really think that it might be even necessary because this aircraft in Air RB is actually suffering a lot. It's actually a, a hard aircraft to fly. Can you get a lot of kills? Yeah, maybe. But you really need to be a very good pilot because most of the time you will be just destroyed by everything. Because fourth generations and stuff, you are a very high PR. Um, you know, I don't know if it should be getting right now, but I really think it doesn't really make sense of adding the on to the BM and not adding it to the um, T's and Su-39. So expect these two aircraft to receive it uh, fairly soon. As I said, not going to receive right now. Maybe they change their mind, but uh, right now only the BM, the event vehicle, will receive it, okay? Uh, so, yeah, then we're going to talk about the aircraft that will receive it at some point. Of course, MiG-29, it can carry six of them, or four of them, if we're going to take the uh, BVR missiles. Uh, it's a very, very, you know, non-missile to be uh, used in the MiG-29. Uh, the missile was basically made to be used in these new generations of aircraft that were being developed in the Soviet Union. So the MiG-29 was one of them, and the Su-27 was the second. Um, you know, so I don't think this will be added fairly soon. I still think that the MiG-29 is one of the best, if not the best aircraft in the game, so there's no need for that right now. But the MiG-29 will most definitely receive the R-73. We just don't know when. Uh, of course, the second aircraft is the AK-141. Same goes, I mean, it's even more likely to be having it uh, because it is a late 80s aircraft. Uh, it only has four missiles, so... I mean, probably it will receive at the same time as the MiG-29, but maybe even before, just because it only has four missiles instead of six. Uh, but I really doubt it. I still think that it, they will probably re be receiving these missiles together, um, especially when something like the A9M comes to the game, uh, maybe when the magic uh, gets a little bit of a buff, you know, something like that. Uh, of course, the final Soviet aircraft that will most definitely receive this missile, and it's kind of, I don't know, 
The thing is the BR of these aircraft. Uh, the MiG-23 MLD was most, uh, one of the most notorious aircraft to receive the R-73 because it was still a third generation aircraft. It can, it can only carry two of them in the inner pylons of the fuselage, so we would see it basically right here. So instead of using four missiles, uh, four R-60Ms, it could carry two R-73s. Obviously, you could change the BVR missiles to carry the R-73s as well over here, but the most, the normal loadout would be R-73s uh, on downwards over here, in the, the bottom part of the fuselage, and then R-24s on the uh, normal main pylons, right? It's an aircraft that did use it, and yeah, it would be a very, very good uh, third generation. The main thing is its BR, man. 11.3 is a very low BR for an aircraft that uses an R-73 missile. So, it comes down to what I always thought it was going to be the best choice ever. To actually add, I know it would be another grind, but maybe they can fold stuff and with the new folding mechanism that they are going to be adding soon, um, of half the research points that you need for actually researching the second aircraft of a fold, they could actually add, for example, the MiG-21 Bs, for uh, MiG-23 Bs, sorry, uh, that would be just using our 60Ms over here in 11.3, and then a higher BR for the MLD once it actually receives the. Um, the, the, the R-73, right? Of course, if it's ever added to the MiG-29 and the Yak-41, I think it most definitely need to be added to the MLD. It was the standard option uh, for the 80s, uh, you know, in the MLD. And another thing is BR compression. Obviously, these aircraft will still fight a lot of fourth generations unless they actually add a very high level of the compression of BR. Even at 11.3, it will face a lot of top tiers and to face top tiers that are using all the time Python 3s, Magic 2s that are buffed, and A9Ms, when that happens, you know, the MLD should uh, be able to defend itself. So, um, you know, the R-73 would be added right now to it, uh, not right now, in the future to it right uh, as well. And then the last aircraft that will most likely be added um, with the R-73, or the R-73 will most likely be added to it, is the MiG-29-912, the German one, the 912A, right? Uh, these aircraft, apparently, uh, they're, I mean, they basically bought the R-73, or it was getting delivered, or something like that. Apparently, they just had the inert versions of the R-73 just to show off. Uh, there are some sources that claim that it, they actually had in Arsenal the R-73. The thing is that even the MiG-29 for the German Air Force only got to Germany in like late 1988, early 1989, something like that. And what happened in 1989? Well, Germany got reunited, right? So uh, they basically stopped uh, getting stuff from the Soviets. So that means that um, some of the armaments maybe not being just they were not received in time for the German Air Force. And of course, the uh, Soviets would just not give the the the, the reunified the Germans, the weaponry, you know, that would probably be receiving if the German nation wasn't reunified, right? So, um, you know, it's a bit, maybe a bit of a stretch, but just like the R-27T, I think the R-73 will just be added, right? Is, there's no uh, reason why not. Uh, they are already adding the R-27Ts for these, so that they never used, the R-27ERs that they never used, so R-73s would just be another one. Uh, the MiG-29-912A could most definitely use this missile, so, um, you know, if it could, it will, you know, you know how Gaijin works. And these are the aircraft that will most likely be having the R-73 in a in general, right? All of these aircraft are confirmed that they could use it and they will probably use it. So the Su 25T, Su 39, Yak, MiG 23 MLD, MiG 29 um, 913, and then the MiG 29 912 A. These are the only aircraft that are confirmed that could be able to use in real life. So we most likely, uh, in theory at least, get these missiles for these aircraft. Uh, but then we have a bit of a stretch, the third part of the video, a stretch that in theory they could receive it, but it's, it would be a stretch, as I said. And that's two MiG-23s, the ML and the MLA. So the thing is that the R-73 being added to these aircraft would be just a kind of a, 
a minor modification. It's not even a modification. Uh, I have the wrong pylon over here. But um, it would basically just receive it because the pylon is very similar to other ones. So it would just receive the pylon and actually be able to use a missile such as this. The thing is that, first of all, the MLA uh, never used that in German service. Uh, on the Russian or the Soviet tech tree and the Soviet Air Force, there are some sources that claim that uh, before it was even modified to be an MLD, because most of the MLAs became MLDs in the Soviet Air Force, uh, they would be able to already carry the R-73, but I really would doubt that we would see something like this being added. And the MiG-23 ML is the, basically the same. They're all kind of the same aircraft, so in theory, yes, it would be able to use the R-73, uh, but it, it is a kind of a big stretch, right? Uh, where this is coming from, there, this possibility, well, it comes from Gaijin itself, right? Uh, Gaijin never denied that the MiG-23 MLs and MLAs and stuff would be uh, not having the R-73. They never confirmed as well. They just said in a very odd way um, that no MiG-23s of all of them will receive R-73s for now. This was like a response back in like one year ago or something like that. So it's not a confirmation that it, or a denial, you know, it's kind of open. We might see it, but I really doubt it, you know. So as I said, it is a stretch. And it's kind of open to, like, the way that you read what they talked about it. It's more of a hopeful thinking than anything else. But as I said, uh, it's less historical accurate. And the thing is that most of the MLs and MLAs became MLDs. And that's probably why people think that the ML and MLA could, in theory, take the R-73. And not because when the ML and MLA was re were released, they were already planning on adding the R-73, right? It's different than that. So I really doubt that we will see these aircraft. It would be a stretch, but you know how Gaijin is sometimes, we might see it in the future. And then the last type of aircraft that probably is never going to be added unless they add another version of it. And this is the MiG-21 BIS. The thing is that this aircraft officially in Soviet service, it never got the, um, the Air 73, but in the Indian Air Force, it was actually upgraded to the UPG, or the MiG-21-93, right? And that one can actually carry the R-73. Uh, so, the answer is no. The MiG-21 BIS will never receive the R-73, because I think if they want to, they will add as an event or something like that, the MiG-21-93 or the MiG-21 UPG from the Indian Air Force, right? So, uh, don't expect the R-73 to come to the MiG-21 BIS. It would be kind of a bending in history so big, larger than actually adding the AK-41 with IRST or uh, the F-16AJ uh, existing in the game, right? It would be way bigger than, than that, you know, or uh, even some other paper aircraft or stuff like that. So don't expect anything like this to be having R-73s. These will not have R-73s. All of these, mm, I really doubt it, but in theory, they might do it because they already kind of stretch a little bit of the missile capabilities of some aircraft, right? So you never know. That's the thing. I would really despise it, but you know how things are sometimes, right? And yeah, but these two, yes. And these three, yes. Everything else besides the German MiG-29, it's a totally, a total no. Okay. Okay. So these are the answers for the aircraft that can actually receive the R-73 if you are having doubt, okay? I did this video, I know, I already talked about this yesterday, but I saw a lot of comments talking about these um, discords, uh, people calling me and asking me, you know, so I just wanted to make a video covering it, what uh, are the most likely aircraft to have um, receiving this very good missile. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what are you, what 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 is the aircraft that you are most excited about to fly when the R73 is added to the game. Let me know in the comments, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.